Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to send data from a master to a receiver so the data is led on. We want to send led on from uh, the master to the receiver then light up the lid. Let me test the thing for you. If we press the button, it will send the data then receive it and do the command that we told it to do it. So for us is uh, lighting the lid. There is a function called software serial. Use uh, that one to, to not have uh, an error while uh, sending the code to Arduino. So if I send the data directly to the master, I should use TX and RX pins of Arduino. So uh, we will do it right now. I will put those uh, pins in the TX and RX and I will send the code. So for us, it's uh, com number six you see it got stuck so if we want to avoid that error while uh, uploading the code because the code now got not uploaded so uh, you should use that function i use the function to not get that error so uh, i change the zero rx pin to two in the arduino and uh, uh, tx pin to three so now if i Log it so tx to rx and rx to tx. I will upload the code without any errors. Log and boom, there is no errors. I'm going to explain the code. So we have explained that. First, I made a function called send string to make it easier to send any data. The string that we want to send is led on, as you see. We create it in a variable called send data type string. Then we get the length of the variable that we just created uh, that have led on. So length of it will be an integer called number of data. I in default will be zero. Uh, while I smaller or equal to number of data should create a character called one alphabet what are we doing now is sending one alphabet by one so like sending l then e then d then space then o then n till it send all the code let's say we have uh, e equal to zero so uh, in send data you should get the alphabet number zero so the alphabet number zero is l uh, first we send it to the bluetooth bl.write by the, the function then we add one to our int it was zero at the beginning now we have number one so one is e so it will send that e then d then space then o that n until it send it all the function will not work until i press the button so first I define the button in pin uh, of Arduino 8. Then I create an integer called btn state. I set the pin mode btn input. So we have a button. By default, it is an input. So we, we want to get the information from the uh, button uh, to Arduino. We read the button data if it was high or low, uh, pressed or not, uh, by calling the function called digital read. BTN. That data that we read it, we replace it in a variable called button state. So if that button state was high, uh, means that got pressed, it will send that string from the Bluetooth to another. So now we're going to go to the receiver. So as always, I did the same thing for uh, the receiver to not have an error while uploading the code. Uh, second thing I defined a button in a pin number uh, 12 serial.begin to use the serial monitor and bluetooth.begin to use the bluetooth and then we added a pin output the lid so in a void loop I created a variable called one time so that variable make you uh, get the data just one time while bluetooth.available so if we are going to receive many alphabets and we want to collect them in one variable that function do that for you each character will be received will uh, fit in a variable called data 
here if statement if data start with data to check so data to check is the function that we want to receive first I declared uh, data to check as a string and I put in it a value of led on if the data from the master was led on and one time that mean that it, it's going to print just one time then it will print for us uh, data to check and it's going to to set the lead high then after two seconds it will set the lead uh, low so here we have a while loop and if we leave the one time equal to true and not uh, set it to false it will repeat that thing uh, many times so let's uh, try it I guess to see so here I will comment that thing so now I commented that thing so I will send it to to Arduino compile now if I press the button it pressed lid on I didn't press it two times it just one look you see this is the third time in etc so to not have that error I created that one time equal false so if I uh, restart it and send the code again so now if I press the button the LED will light up just one time so let's repeat it again see two seconds and let off so that's all there is one thing that I want to tell you that uh, I use the pull down uh, resistor of uh, I guess 1k so you can search in the net how pull down resistor work and that's all